system has to be reformed. The other day I said this is most critical. We are on war path on education. We have to reform. We have to make people ready for the future. Not ready for the past. And we have to prepare our younger generation, you too, to be ready for at least three or four careers in your life. Because we live longer. Because changes are taking place so fast, so often. And because the opportunities out there are so vast. If you are trained as engineer, how many engineers are here who have turned financial officers, who have turned business? A lot. How many doctors who have turned business? We know when doctors become business because they maintain their doctor-ness. <laughs> Real estate, hospital, okay, understanding hospital. But airlines, we know. But we don't know when the engineers turn bankers. Kun Prasan Trairatwarakun was trained as an engineer at Jalalongkorn University. Irrigation engineer at AIT, but now he is the chief banker of the country. So our education system must prepare our younger generation for at least three or four different careers in their lifespan. I don't think the Thai education system is doing that. We are still asking them to remember what saw, <laughs> what date, what names. We are not teaching them to think. Anyway, I have asked all these leaders of all these Sapa, Sama, Kom, Hokan Ka, Find me 50 young, and I know this generation is very, very capable. They are all MBAs from recognized universities around the world. They are doing business, they are making decisions, but they are not coming together. Unlike other economies in the region, we need a new workforce to grow on to the global stage to go on to the regional stage. And if you are not ready, we are creating the ASEAN economic community for others, not for us. Because we are not ready. As is, multinational corporations are taking advantage of the ASEAN landscape more than ASEAN companies. Why? Because they are everywhere. Because they know the rules, they know the regulations, because they know, because they have deep pocket. They have, they have lawyers to read all these rules and all these regulations. Ford Motor Company came to me last year and said, Mr. Secretary General, we do benefit from your FTA ASEAN. We sell more finished products, we buy more, we source more parts from the landscape of ASEAN at lower cost. I said, Amen. <laughs> but I would like to see the listed companies represented here to say that to me. That Mr. Secretary General, we benefit from the ASEAN vision. One community, one identity, one vision. We all have to subscribe to that. Private sector in particular, but parents, students and teachers. This is the vision of the future. And only you can take advantage of the opportunities being opened up because you are at the cutting edge of the private sector who will have to do most 
of the heavy lifting for Thailand and for ASEAN. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ASEAN Secretary General Dr. Surin Pitsuwan. And may I now have said President and Secretary General of FEDCO Kunjuram Honchodigasatian to present a token of appreciation to Dr. Surin Pitsuwan Ka. Kunjuram Hon, please. Thank you very much. And before we proceed to next presentation, may I invite FEDCO directors and advisors on the stage to join a photo session. Mr. Shanin Wong Kusun Kit, Dr. Somjin Son Thai San, Kun Mong Kon Lila Tam, Kun So Pawadi Learn Manat Chai, Kun Rafi Sudarit Kun, said Governor and Advisor of FEDCO, Kun Pon Chai, Brasot Sintana, Kun Geng Glarak Pao Pan, Kun Yuat Ganjana Pumin, Kun Yan Sak Mano Mai Pibun Ka. Kun Sathapana Leo Prapai, CEO of AIMC, and Kun Kanet Wong Pai Jit Ka. Do your seven exchanges working hand in hand to bring you investments in ASEAN in providing you access we move as one ASEAN Side by side we stand Best In the same With us young exchanges Best In the same Alright, thank you very much All exchanges